never said I'd do that. Well, my mom said you would, so I don't no, know. I said I might. Jesse, I can't plan my entire life around your therapy. Do you mind not screaming that at the top of your lungs? Hi, Billy. Hi, <laughs> Billy. Fine, whatever. Is it something I said? Yes, it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, my God, are you kidding? It looks great on you. Oh, I love it. It's so cozy. I love the word cozy. It's about being someone that your son can trust and talk to. You're going to have to face who he really is. It's one of the hardest things about being a parent. We have to let go of all those preconceived images of how our kids are supposed to be and embrace who they really are. Does that make sense? I guess you're right. Good. I'm going to call my son as soon as I hang up this phone. That's great. Thanks for telling me that. And let me know how it goes, OK? You got it. Thanks, Lily. Thank you, Joseph. OK, I'll be back tomorrow filling in for Stan the car man who's on vacation. So for any of you auto lovers out there who have blended families, I'm Lily Sandler. And I'm no expert. W-I-X-B Chicago. God, that was so touching. Liz, hang on. Thanks, Jude. Liz, remember my sister Judy? Not really. Is he always so rude? Unless he's not feeling well. Are we still on for lunch? Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm Jude. sorry. But we're seeing each other tomorrow night, right? At the book signing? You think I'd miss Jonathan Franzen? Got it all arranged. Grace has agreed to drive Jesse to therapy, so... Uh, is that going to be okay? Grace is an excellent driver. Listen, it's saving my life. No, I just meant they don't exactly get along, do they? What do you mean? They get along. I just sense a lot of tension between them. Oh, well, sure, maybe at the beginning, but ever since they did that play, they've become a lot closer. They have. They're practically like sisters. Shut up. So for tomorrow, I want you to read the poems of John Donne that I've put on the board. And one that I forgot, to his mistress going to bed. <laughs> and speaking of sex, I have been blackmailed into, I mean I have graciously consented to serve as the faculty facilitator, I think it's what they call it, for the much maligned Upton Sinclair Gay Straight Alliance. They still have that? Yes, apparently the need for tolerance and understanding has not quite yet been eradicated. Hm. We'll be meeting tomorrow evening, I don't know where yet, but I'll keep you posted. That's cool that you're doing that. So what did you mean by blackmail? I was kidding. Uh, all right. Oh, Mr. Dimitri, I am uh, definitely joining. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> Bisexual girls, right? Need I say more? You are such an idiot. You know what? You should come with me. No way. It's boring and stupid. What is? Hey, oh, those clubs like the Gay Straight Alliance, where it's just arguing about how to raise money and who should make the stupid posters. Nothing ever really gets done, you know? Totally. <laughs> hey, do you have change for the soda machine? Have I ever denied you change? <laughs> Dude, I just realized something. Mr. Dimitri just totally outed himself. <laughs> what? No, he didn't. Manning, was I even talking to you? Tad, he did not out himself, OK? He's a faculty advisor. I mean, you're going to join. Does that mean you're gay? <laughs> oh, look, I think everybody knows why I'm going to join, OK? And Mr. Dimitri, well, he runs the drama club. He now runs the Gay Straight Alliance. He's not married. And he's obsessed with Joni Mitchell. And he's not gay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude. Mr. Dimitri! Uh, hi. Hey. Um. I was just wondering, um, this is your car? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. What, what were you wondering? Oh, yeah. I was wondering, um, you know, about the Gay Straight Alliance? Mm -hmm. Maybe part of the reason that it's hard to get people to join is that they might feel uncomfortable. So we should probably figure out some way to help people, you know. Feel more comfortable? Yeah. So this is one of those hybrid cars? Hybrid, yes. Oh, that's very, I mean, that's the kind of car I would want. Don't you drive? I seem to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I don't have a car of my own. My mom just lets me drive hers to school once in a while. And of course, drive Jesse places. I see. Well, her mother's in the hospital, so. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh. 
So everyone's like really worried about her now, you know, like even more than usual. I mean, I think it can be even harder when your mother's not in the hospital, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just, you know, she's just the kind of person that people are always worried if she has a ride home, you know? And I guess I'm just the kind of person that people just assume can walk. Would you like a ride home? Like last year, my little sister got so terrified about global warming, you know? But I mean, she's young. She barely even understands the implications. We're here. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you, really. Oh, wait, what I was starting to say before, um, I just think that if you had the meeting somewhere besides school, like say at your house, I think it'd be less embarrassing for certain people to join. At my house? Yeah, teachers do stuff like that all the time. Well, not all the time. But Mr. Walsh had the film festival at his house last year. Anyway, <laughs> well, okay. So, thanks again, really. How do you... Oh, you, you just... That's... There. Well, well <laughs> thanks again. Again. I've never seen that sweater before. It's Katie's. She got it for Christmas. Well, that's a nice friend to lend you her Christmas present. Yeah, I know. Where have you been? Oh, they're reviving the Gay-Straight Alliance at school. The Gay-Straight what? It's just this club, basically. I was just helping to get it reorganized. You were? It happens to be an extremely important organization. It's to build understanding between gay kids and straight kids, and, like, awareness and stuff. Oh. Well, it does seem important. I didn't know you had such strong feelings about it. Well, people should be allowed to fall in love with whoever they want. I mean, otherwise, what's the point of living? Hello? Oh, that's good. I had to ask you a question about, um... So, um, who else was there besides you and Mr. Dimitri? What's your point? I don't know. I was just asking. Actually, I mean, a lot of people who you'd think would join probably won't. Like your friend Katie. What? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on what? She's gay. No, she's not. Jesse, it's no big deal. <laughs> well, I know it's not a big deal because she isn't. Excuse me, Katie and Sarah Grasso were like madly in love. You don't know this? Katie completely broke her heart. I really don't think that's what happened. Yeah, it is. Ask anyone. I don't have to ask anybody because I know her. Are you busy? Yeah. I was wondering if you'd given any more thought to what I said yesterday. About the phone lines. Oh, that. For a minute, I thought you meant that malarkey about accepting your kids for who they are, like anybody's really going to do that. Well, I do that. You do? Yes. And I think my children are better people for it. Oh, yeah? Well, I doubt that. For instance, my daughter, the one that's in high school, joined an organization called the Gay Straight Alliance, Ooh. which promotes tolerance and understanding. And I think she's open to joining an organization like that, partly because of the tolerance and understanding I've extended to her. Les, what's wrong? This is about your daughter, isn't it? The one who hasn't been returning her phone calls? No, it's not about my crazy daughter, about your gay daughter, or anybody else's daughter. I'll look into that phone line thing, okay? I don't know. My, my daughter's not actually gay. I don't want to know. Not that it wouldn't be okay if she was, but she isn't. I still don't want to know. She's just very principled. It was ridiculous. I'm sure I completely flunked. <sighs> Jess! Hey. Your hair's all staticky. Yeah, I didn't have time to brush it after gym. Here, I'll fix it for you. Oh, it's really tangled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I should put some braids in it later or something. 
Okay, that's good. You should go. I have 45 seconds. Well, then I better go, because I don't want to be late. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Hey, Jess. So, listen, I can't drive you to therapy. There's a gay-straight alliance meeting tonight. You have to. What else am I supposed to do? Then you're just going to have to come to the meeting. No way. Well, I'm not going to drive all the way home and then all the way back. Fine, fine. Hello. So I was thinking about doing some teaching. What'd you say? <laughs> all right. Where were we? OK, so the fact that your friend is gay... No, is... no, no. My friend being gay wouldn't bother me. What bothers me is people saying she's gay if she's not. Like, there are girls in my school who say they're gay and know if they are or they aren't, but at least it's their choice to say it. I see. And with Katie, I just don't think that she is because I know her really well. And if she was, she'd be going to that meeting tonight, and she's not, so she's obviously not gay. Well, that settles it then. Hold on a second. We're a little early. So I see. Yeah, and we brought chips and stuff. Oh, yeah. Great, remind me to, to reimburse you. But the living room's right through here. Okay. Well, um, look, why don't you uh, put on some music? I'll be right back. So oh, why did you want to come to this? I told you, I think it's an important issue. So do I. I also don't think it's right to believe that somebody is gay just because you heard it someplace. I don't think that's right either. Yeah, but that's what you did to Katie. That's not labeling, that's just true. How can you say that when you only heard it somewhere? <laughs> I mean, look at Mr. Dimitri. He has all these musicals in his collection. Everybody says that he's gay. Does that make it true? Like how many musicals? Oh my god, Jesse, look at this. Accidentally on purpose, poems by August Dimitri. Maybe we shouldn't be snooping around on his stuff. Uh, Mr. Dimitri? Oh, good food. Hey, hey. Billy. Hi. Billy, I. Hey. Wow, nice color scheme. I, I thought that you thought clothes like this were stupid. Oh, I do. I just felt like seeing Dimitri's house. <laughs> Oh, hi, everyone. Hey. Try not to make yourselves too comfortable. You're a real poet. <laughs> when did you publish these? Several lifetimes ago. Well, can I look at them? Uh, they're not really worth looking at. This is an uh, excellent choice of house. All right. All right, then it's settled. Russell and Savannah will be the co-treasurers. Now, I think we might want to consider what our goals are. I mean, are we going Jesse, to be primarily an activist type organization? Go. Politically oriented? Yeah, that come on, be let's focus, go. Or CCS is more social in nature, sponsoring social events and the like. What, you mean like a dance or something? Um, no good. They tried a gay straight dance like two years ago and nobody even showed up. Well, yeah, but I heard nobody even knew about it and they had a lame DJ. We could call it the homo hetero hot. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm totally offended by the word homo. But look, Russell, it doesn't matter what we call it. The point is that it'll be a place where people can be who they really are with whoever they want to be with and they won't be judged. I'm totally bored. Are you bored? Right. I'm really We're trying to finish this. Then we should lead our case to Miss Gonzalez. Who's willing to help me out with that? I will. Okay. Well, you and I should confer about that at some point to hammer out a proposal. Sure. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Bye. Come on, let's go. Hey. Shouldn't we help clean all the stuff up? Well, that's okay. I'll do it. So just tell my mother I had to stay late, okay? Sure. Do you, uh, do you need a ride home now, or...? I don't know. Um, yeah, she does. Katie, have fun. Um, are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Hey! Hey, how was the, how was the book signing? Well, Jonathan Sanson is a god. He 
snobbish god, but a god. So the girls aren't home yet? Uh, not yet. Hey. hey. What's this? Oh, you see that girl that just coughed? Mm -hmm. She's gonna die soon. They sent me a memo with a bunch of guidelines as to how to go about getting the funding for any events. Where did I... You don't have to do that. Oh, well, I don't mind. Come on. <laughs> so, I didn't know you wrote poetry. But, I mean, there's obviously a lot of things I don't know about you. Probably. Like with the Gay Straight Alliance? I mean, I, I didn't know that you cared about that. Hello? Oh, hi, Chris. Shut up. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? What are you up to? I'm just gonna get my... Hi, Tad. Hey, Mr. Sandler. Where were you guys? Uh, this meeting for the, uh, the Gay Straight Alliance. You joined the Gay Straight Alliance? Not exactly. Grace dragged me there. Grace joined the Gay Straight Alliance? Yeah, I thought I mentioned that. Nope. Not to me. <laughs> yeah, Grace, uh, she's like the whole dance committee. She wasn't even this excited about the play. Would you guys like something to eat? No, it's pretty late. Well, that's OK, honey. You can... What, what movie? <laughs> oh, nobody knows. You see that girl that just coughed? She'll be dead soon. Cool. Yeah, when they cough like that, it's pretty much all over. So she joined the Gay Street Alliance. Apparently, yep. What? Come on, this is huge. It's not. It's not huge. No, I never would have predicted this. But what, what, what did I think what? about it? This kind of makes sense. It does not. Really? So what, what are you saying? Well, obviously, it's possible, which is actually not what's shocking me. It's more just thinking of her as a person with a sex life of any kind. She's not gay. I can't believe you're reacting this way. What happened to accepting your kids for who they are? Shh. I am accepting her for who she is. She happens to be straight. It's called the Gay Straight Alliance. Hey. What? Nothing. How was the meeting? Fine, I have one. Did you see that? She couldn't even look me in the eye. Oh my God, maybe it's true. for English. Where are they? We're gonna be late. Oh, that reminds me. I need you to take Jessie to visit her mother after school. And then what? Just wait for her in the lobby for an hour where it smells like death and disinfectant? Well, yeah. Death and disinfectant. Be a good title for a poem. <laughs> You're right. Honey, if you want the privilege of using the car, you'd have to learn to... Okay. Okay. So how was the Gay Straight Alliance meeting? Jessie, come on! Were there gay people and straight people, or mostly gay people, or mostly straight people? Or... I'm leaving without you! So you're in charge of a committee? Is that why you had to stay so late? A lot of people stayed late. Very nice of Mr. Dimitri to 
let people meet at his house. Lots of teachers do that. So is he? I mean, I just I hadn't quite realized that Mr. Dimitri was gay. What? Not that it makes any difference. You're right. It doesn't make any difference who's gay and who isn't. If it doesn't make any difference, then why do you keep talking about it? OK, would you two go to school, please? Try not to learn too much. Jess! Okay. Okay, good. What's going on? Hey, what do you mean? Didn't you see me waving to you before? On the steps, I was like waving to you. No, I didn't see you. Oh, well, you want to come over later? I can. I have to visit my mom at the hospital. I could come with you. It's not really fun for you, though. Look, are you mad at me? What? No. Well, then. Why are you being like this? Look, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late, but I'll talk to you later, okay? Jesse, wait! Miss Singer? Would you care to join us? Okay. All right, John Dunn. Are his poems pretty straightforward? Easily grasped? Come on, people. It's a yes or no question. No. Thank you. No, they are not. So, why do we bother to read them? OK, let's recap. John Donne explored the paradox of human existence. So, what does that mean? What's a paradox? Anyone? Um, when something just doesn't make sense, but it's still true? That's exactly right. But can I just say something? Because he writes all these love poems, but he just seems so detached. Exactly. That's what it meant to be a poet back then. It, it was like being kind of a scientist of the human heart. And a scientist must remain detached, you see, in order to uncover no, but that's the... that's not... I mean, I don't think that that's what poems should be. See, I just read these poems by this other person. And they just showed you, like, his entire life. How he thought and felt about everything and it made you realize how you felt about everything. That was an interesting point you made. Well, I guess I just have strong feelings about poetry. We'll continue this another time. Could you do me a favor? Could you give this note to Jessie when you see her? It's extremely personal. Sitting there. Not too long. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I'll be coming home tomorrow, so. So, how's your life? How's Katie? She's fine. Mm, I am so glad you have such a good friend like her. When I was in high school, there was so much pretending going on. I had friends, but I don't think we were ever really honest with each other. Oh, honey. Honey, this has been really hard on you, hasn't it? No. I, well, it's not that. I... There's this person, um... I mean, I just want things to stay the way they are, but, uh... What they want is to sort of uh, take that next step. Yes. I think I know who you're talking about. You do? Judy was just here. She told me all about Ted at Lily's last night and how much he seemed to care for you. So, what do you do when 
Somebody really likes you like a lot more than you realized. Do you want the person to like you? I don't know what I want. Just because a person has feelings for you doesn't mean you have to return those feelings. Oh, great. This is what I want, more green shallow. kind of stuck in the neighborhood for a while. And there's something I wanted to tell you. And that's fine, but you see, the thing no, please. is... please. Please, just... See, in your car the other day, I just felt like there was this connection that I couldn't put into words, and then you put it into words. You did it for me. Look, I did something which I obviously shouldn't have done, okay? But I'm glad I did it, because now I know that I'm not alone. And that is just such an amazing thing to know. August? Ah, uh, uh, Chris. Uh, Chris, this is Grace, one of my students. Grace, this is my friend, Christine Kim. Uh, Grace is one of my most enthusiastic students. She offered to, to, to chair the Committee for the Gay Straight Alliance dance. Oh, and, right, you were telling me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the presentation is tomorrow, isn't it? Did I ever give you that memo? No. Hold on, I think it's in my briefcase. Would you like a soda or something? No, it's okay. So, do you call him August or Mr. Dimitri? Mr. Dimitri? I had a teacher in high school. He let us call him Stacy, which is a funny name for a man. But he was so cool, we didn't care. So, is Mr. Dimitri a good teacher? It's okay. I just can't picture it. I should come by sometime and watch him teach, just to freak him out. Um, I, I have to go. I have to pick up my stepsister from the hospital, so... Found it! Hey, try to remember these things during school hours next time, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Nice meeting you, Grace. problem is, but if she's gonna get this upset just because she has to pick me up from places, then I think somebody else should do it. Well, hold on, Jess. What are... I don't know. She's just like... Where's Grace? She's in the car. What's she doing in the car? I don't know. She's just kind of sitting there. You want me to go out there and get her? Grace, what's going on? Mom, please, just don't talk to me right now, okay? She's feeling resentful because we're asking her to show for Jesse all over the place. I mean, that much is obvious. That's why she's upset. Well, she could be gay. That's what Judy thinks. Is that what you think? Well, I mean, she did join that club. <clears throat> I don't know, Nate. Sometimes it seems like she's keeping something from me, and I try to talk to her, and she just shuts me up. So, do you think it's possible? Well, you know, anything's possible. Do you think she is? I'm not saying she is. I'm not saying she isn't. Oh, my God. OK, you think she is? No, I'm just saying that, you know, if she is, you'll you'll deal with it. It's easy for you to say. Your daughter's heterosexual. She has a boyfriend named Tad. <sighs> You're fine. Well, that's true. Oh, my God. You know, no wonder she won't talk to me. Look at me. I'm a bigot. I never thought in a million years if I were in this position that I would be reacting this way because I'm actually upset. I'm upset that she might be a lesbian. At least she's not a bigot. I mean, you know, you have a daughter and you don't think that she might like women. I mean, it just never crosses your mind. Hello? Oh, hi, Katie. Sure. Hang on. Jessie in there? Yes, and she's taking forever. Jessie? Sweetie, it's Katie on the phone. 
Can you just tell her that I'll talk to her tomorrow? I'm really tired. Okay, sure. Katie? Jess is going to bed right now, but she'll call you tomorrow, okay? All right, bye. Good night, girls. Why won't you talk to her? What? Just talk to her. You're lucky you can. This is completely none of your business. You don't even realize how easy you have it. I mean, God, just go for it. No one will care. And then at least you'll have someone. At least it's an option. At least the person you're in love with. I don't believe it. You read that letter that she wrote me. I did not. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't need to read anything. And anyway, I wouldn't do that. No, that is exactly something that you would do. You take things that don't belong to you, snoop around in people's private things, and I don't care what you think you know. I am not in love with anybody. Just because you picked somebody who would never love you back in a million years. Shut up. Oh, you think I don't know? You think I wouldn't figure out why you had to go to his house? What are you night? talking about? Shut up. Everybody knows, and it's embarrassing. The way you look at him and the way you do anything you can just oh, to you'll do him. anything to protect your little image, won't you? Perfect Jesse, who couldn't possibly be in love with a girl. How much I hate you. I hate you more. Grace? Grace? You're still in bed. Mom, well, please, just let me lie here. Why, I can't unless you're sick. Are you sick? You feel normal? Not from in here. Sweetie, whatever happened with Spencer Lewicki? I mean, why don't you see each other anymore? Nothing happened to him. He's gay. Oh. Is, is he also in the Gay Straight Alliance? No, Mom, because sometimes people don't exactly know they're gay. And Spencer Lewicki is one of those people. If you let me stay home, I could explain it in more detail. I would love that, Gracie. I really would. After school. Nice try, though. OK, so if she's not feeling better tomorrow, I'll bring her in. Thanks, Doc. Jessie's throat's hurting her, so I'm going to let her stay home from school. Oh, no. What? Never mind, just don't mention it to Grace. So, what's done up to here? Could it be his desire, his desperation to somehow unite the two opposing sides within himself? Who can think of another poem we've read that might illustrate this desire? Grace. Which of Don's poems would you choose? Grace, wait. So what happened? What? What do you mean, nothing happened? But, I mean, you gave her the note, right? Oh, thank God you didn't give it to her. No. No, I did. I did give it to her. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, so. Uh, but wait, I mean, did she say anything? Because so are you ready to she... face the vice principal? I mean, did you have a chance to write up that proposal for the Gay Straight Alliance? Because I could ask Miss Gonzalez to, I mean, she could probably reschedule it. I don't care when we do it. OK, fine. Well, I'll meet you back here then after eighth period. Look, Katie, the thing is, she was really upset yesterday after visiting her mom. Like, really upset. I mean, she may not have even read it yet. Really? You think that could be true? It's definitely possible. Oh, thank you. I love you. <laughs> Yes, that pretty much covers the history of the Gay Straight Alliance here at Upton Sinclair, what our purpose is, and why I personally think its existence is vital to our well-being as a community. Uh, so what else?
Let's see, I already gave you our mission statement. Oh, right, um, I've drawn up a budget for the event. I had to approximate, but I think it's pretty accurate. And I'd just like to close with a really sad statistic, that a gay kid is at least twice as likely to attempt suicide. And I'm not saying that if you don't give us the funding to have this dance, people are gonna kill themselves. <laughs> but I am saying that if it's within your power to give someone hope, someone who really needs it, and instead you just turn your back on that person, I just think that's really horrible. Thank you. Well, thank you, Grace. That was really quite impressive. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. We really appreciate you. Grace! She's really quite something, isn't she? Yes. stepmother. Well, I'm not. Your brother let me in. Oh. Look, I just want my sweater back and then I won't bother you again. You're not bothering me. Fine. Can I just have the sweater? Sure. Um, it's going to be our summer. <sighs> oh, look, you missed the trash. I wasn't going to throw it away. Fine, whatever. Can I just have it back, please? You want the letter back? Look, I've humiliated myself enough as it is. How? Because I shouldn't have written all that stuff. It's OK. I it's just... obviously not OK, since you'll barely even talk to I me. I just want to be friends. That's what I want. Well, from your letter, it just No, seems... forget the stupid letter. I don't want anything you don't want. Well, I just want to be friends. Me too. I've just been really confused, I know. And, look, and I didn't know what to do, and you're really important to me. I am? Yes, don't you know that? Because you are so important to me. So can we just be friends? I mean, am I still your friend? Yes, of course. Oh, my God. Of course you're still my friend. the stupid letter out, okay? I can't. I can't throw it away. I want to keep it forever. Oh, my God. Thanks for doing such a great job today. You were very persuasive. I don't even know what I said. Well, trust me, because of what you said, the, the Gay Straight Alliance will get the funding to have that dance. I don't care about the stupid dance. I don't care about the Gay Straight Alliance. I know you don't. What else do you know? I know that you took my book. It was stupid of me not to just let you borrow it, but 
thing is, Grace, we're not friends. I know that. I mean, you can't just drop by my house like that. I know. If circumstances were different, I would like nothing more than to be your friend. I would want you to drop by my house, and I'd loan you my book of poems I wrote when I was in my 20s that I'm now embarrassed by, and I'd want you to call me August and not Mr. Dimitri, and we would sit around and talk for hours, but we can't do that. We can't be friends. Okay! Okay. Just stop saying it, please. Um. So... That was your girlfriend last night? And you shouldn't be asking me questions like that. She was my girlfriend. Long time ago in college. Now we're just friends. Better get out of the car now. What? Oh. Hey, Mr. Hi. Dimitri, how are you? Uh, I, I was just, it, it's cold out and I. Oh, God, I know. Thank you so much. Grace, will you give me a hand with the groceries? Sure. Awfully nice of him. What? Oh, yeah. To give you a lift. How did the presentation go? Fine. He was just. I mean, I happened to mention that I didn't have a ride home, so. Oh, just... no, I'm glad. I mean, you are? Yeah, I'm glad that the presentation went well, and I'm glad that you're a part of a group like that. And that you have someone like Mr. Dimitri. What do you mean? Just, just someone who really understands you, because I, because I, I, I want you to be true to who you are, no matter what. Because I love you, no matter what. Well, I love you too. I love everyone. Well, in that case, do you mind taking these cough drops up to Jesse? Sure. I mean, no, I don't mind. Sorry. No problem. She was just bringing me some homework, so thanks. Anytime. See you, Grace. Oh, yeah, see ya. Oh, my mom bought you cough drops. Oh, thanks. I'm feeling a lot better. Me too. by the light of the moon.